I think our basic philosophy is still very much the same. We get money from the taxpayer, we put our results out for everybody to use. But how we have to do that, the tools we use for that, have changed a bit. So we have come up with intellectual asset principles. <coughs> we still say, in principle, everything we produce is in the public domain, but we recognize that in some cases we may have to collaborate with the private sector. And in some cases it may be necessary to either have licenses from the private sector that allow us to use some of their intellectual assets, or in some cases the best way to get our knowledge to farmers is indeed through seed companies. And we may need to have some arrangements, some licensing for specific conditions. And our intellectual asset principles basically say if the centers can justify that to have higher impact for the poor we can do a licensing deal, then it is justified. Now, it's a bit similar with open access. Now we are saying, yes, our stuff should be in the public domain, but how do people actually use it? And the modern approach to that is to say, we take our data, we make sure that they have the right metadata, we make sure that they are machine readable and that they sit there in repositories so that people can grab them and use them. So on our side, I think it's a commitment to say not just everybody can use it, but that actually everybody has easy access to it, and that they can actually use our data in a, in a way that makes sense. If we want to, to give away, as it were, what we produce, and we expect a, uh, someone else to take it up and use it, there has to be a clear ability for us to say, okay, this is ours, we want you to use it, if you use it, these are the terms. So that changing uh, landscape of public-private sector interaction uh, has major implications for how we manage our intellectual assets, uh, how we protect, uh, and you know, giving something away for free, you can do it if you own it. If you don't, you, you can't say, oh, that's a very nice piece of technology that he owns, you can have it. So, it's, it's, uh, it's a, it, and I find this actually intellectually very stimulating as well as uh, personally satisfying.